And there's something they call the modern trade, yeah, where you find they will, they will sell the product to the shop, yeah, to those smaller shops. But how do we start actually equipping those shops to be our mini supermarket? So that as a consumer, I don't have to feel the need, I have to go to the mall, whatever goods I need actually, mm. I can be able to get them from a very nearby uh, shop where it's reachable for me, yeah. Mm. And like he has talked about, uh, I mean, the issue of. Um, supermarkets and all these other companies that supply uh, fast moving goods we need to start thinking about you know, how do we get the goods to the customer and now it becomes the convenience of the customer the customer mm -hmm. wants to spend but how do we make it easier for them mm -hmm. um, it will create an environment where we have to rethink our business models mm -hmm. we cannot keep operating with the model that we had five years ago after COVID. Or pre-COVID. Pre pre yeah. yeah. Maybe along the way we had started engineering and yeah. all that, but post-COVID we need to look at what are the effects of this COVID on our business and how do we re our strategies post-COVID so that actually business starts making sense. Because if we don't do that, then we're going to be defeated. Mm. You've talked about um, IT in terms of risk. When you look at uh, small enterprises, they are looking at IT and they're thinking it's an expensive yeah. uh, thing uh, to engage in. Why mm. do I have to actually engage something that is too expensive for mm. me? Yeah. Then again, it calls for the people who are in the IT space because ideally they use their brains to actually create all these tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then how do they make it affordable to the SME? Mm -hmm. Because as an SME, me, I'm thinking if I'm going to spend a hundred thousand on a system, honestly, I don't think I need it. If I'm going to spend 100,000 on a payroll system and I can use Excel, let me use my Excel system. But I can make it actually affordable to the SME and it's a system that is very effective. So we need to start thinking out of the box and start stop thinking in uh, ways like we've been put in a pipe, we are not able to think outside Straight the box. Line. Yes. But that, that's a good point. I know uh, actually being a small business owner, we're looking at all areas to cut. Mm -hmm. yes. And and you mentioned IT, and also now we have subscription models yes. for, for 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 like now Zoom. Zoom mm -hmm. is forty dollars. Yeah. Yes. Imagine if that whole back in the day, mm -hmm. if, if Zoom was to give you the solution mm. for your organization, to yeah. charge you how many dollars? Yeah. Yes. No, they are just taking fourteen from you, fourteen from the other. Mm -hmm. exactly. Netflix, yeah. seven hundred you, seven hundred there, mm -hmm. seven, and many people have shifted to that model mm -hmm. now. As an employee, mm -hmm. speak to employers because an employer has now come with a different mindset mm -hmm. to the workplace. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm coming now, I'm thinking, the day if I see redundancy, out in Egypt, you know. <laughs> but now, there's a way you as an employee can position yeah. yourself uh. to be relevant to employers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Given those, those, those parameters, True. the mindset, yeah. True. All right. You know, I refer to earlier conversation where you talked about what you did in school and what you're doing today. And a lot of us, we are stuck with, I did HR so I can only work in an HR. HR yeah. And we need to start broadening our way of thinking. We need to stop being at that place of, I can only do this, I can do this. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to do different things and be able to still do them very well. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of times we normally say, I need to do what I love to do. Yeah. The truth is, post-COVID, it's a it's survival. So first I need to get to my feet before I start wanting to do what I love and I can boast about it. It's going to be about, I need to put food on my table and I need to do something that is decent. So the question is going to be as an employee, what is it that you're doing to develop yourself? Okay. During this COVID situation, you've probably been home for the last one or two months. You know, what are you doing with yourself? Are you spending time watching movies? Are you spending time just launching at home and doing nothing? Well, there's so much you can do. You can learn from the internet. There's a lot of information online on um, mm -hmm. different things you can actually uh, use to make yourself more relevant, more <coughs> efficient in terms of your productivity. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we hope that this discussion was helpful to you. Uh, if you need to talk to us, hit our WhatsApp number and we'll be there to uh, come back to you and help you navigate these challenging times. Thank you.